How's it going? Welcome back. Hi, cutie. <laughs> Look at the size of this lovely little pallid, spiny, soft shell turtle. Here we go, little man. <sighs> All right. But underneath the concrete, the metal, the humanity is a lovely oasis, or shall I say oases, full to the brim with life. Now today I'm looking for the cutest and newest of life forms to grace the lovely state of Texas. We're looking for baby soft shell turtles, which as the name might suggest, are the baby form of the adult soft shell turtle. So we're just poking around and maybe we can find some little creatures to show you all. So here we go. I'm pretty sure you have brain damage. All right, I'm going. Hi, cutie. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of this lovely little pallid, spiny, soft shell turtle. Now, this is the time of year when these little baby turtles are hatching out. So we came down here, even though it's right next to a really busy road, this drainage comes out from underneath the street from a pond on the other side. And a lot of times these little baby turtles kind of get stuck in the shallow water. It's a pretty warm day. So we're just gonna check around, see if any more of these little babies are stuck. But look at that beautiful little soft shell turtle. Take a look. Here's once again where they get that name, soft shell turtle. Look at that neck too, look at that neck. So long, huh? But look at that, the shell is completely soft, flexible and they sacrificed a hard bony shell for speed. These, even these tiny baby turtles are capable of, of swimming incredibly fast because they don't have that big bulky hard shell to cart around. So they don't, they're not as protected against pre, uh, predators, but they're extremely quick. Let's see if we can, if we can get them to swim away. Hold on, we'll catch them. We'll see. All right. Better we'll not lose him. We'll Better see. Than... We'll see if we can. <laughs> we'll see if he'll show us just how fast he can swim here. He said no. But these beautiful little turtles are master hunters. They're so quick, they're able to catch all sorts of prey from small fish, tadpoles, frogs, crayfish, and underwater invertebrates. So they are so cute with their little snorkel nose and their cute little feet and their cute little spots and stuff. Look at that. Cute, cute, cute. You can see here, even still, that little kind of belly button. That's actually where the yolk was attached in the egg. That tiny little mark there in the center. He's so young, he's still got a remnant of that. Look at his cute little tail and his cute little feet and his claws. He's like, Whoa, what are you doing, man? Those are my privates. Sorry, little turtle. I don't mean to invade your privacy. Beautiful, beautiful little pallid, spiny soft shell. So cute, so cool. Well, we're gonna keep on looking because I've got a good feeling that we'll find some more. So we're gonna move this guy off this kind of shallow area where he's very visible to predators and into this little nursery where there's lots of fish, lots of aquatic invertebrates and lots of places for him to hide. And he should do a lot better in there than out here in the open. All right. 
Here we go, little man. Oh, so cool. As you can see, he's got lots of places to hide, lots of places to get away from predators. And at his size, that's the most important thing he can do. Stay away from being eaten. You got a little uh, spider web on. A little ponytail? No, turn. Perfect, you got it all. Nothing left. Halloween time. Halloween. Well, folks, we did find one cute baby turtle. However, the number of turtles we found did not go up. But I guess that's technically a success, finding a baby turtle. So we're super happy with that, even though it's still rush hour and there's lots of cars going by and there's lots of wind and it's just a weird day. But I hope you learned something about the cute little baby pallid spiny softshell turtle. I hope you learned something about turtles in general and I hope you learned a little something about perseverance. So. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything else. Join the channel memberships for exclusive behind-the-scenes content. Buy the new merchandise. It's awesome. And, of course, tune in next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.